what is your reaction to the news? I'm really excited about this. It's good that something's actually going to happen, or it sounds like something's going to happen, and it's going to impact a lot of sports and a lot of people a lot. So, yeah, it's great. What's going to be the specific benefit for swimming for you? Swimming, there'll be a massive difference. Like, I'm spending hundreds of pounds just to train at Cambridge and compete with Cambridge, so it'll make a massive difference like through financing. But also, we were nearly <laughs> not able to have varsity this year because uh, the pool Parkside weren't going to let us have pools, so all in all, it's just going to influence swimming massively. Incredible. Yeah, it's, no. it's absolutely incredible. It's, it's game-changing for us, basically. It really is. We have huge issues trying to train. I mean, we've been this term going up to a military base 30 miles away, taking five hours out of the day just to be able to train. 30 minutes to sign on yeah, to the US exactly. Air Force Base to train. <laughs> Not what just, there's no, doing, there's no really. pitches we can use. Uh, we, in my first year, we trained on Jesus Green. We got kicked off that because we were tearing it up. Um, and we just had the facilities. I mean, I was at MIT last year on exchange, and their stuff is ridiculous. And I mean, if we had the here, we'd just be a much better team and we'd be like, competitive at many more universities. Um, a lot of the time we find out where we're going to train about um, a week before our training session. Um, it's inconsistent. We train in, in church halls, we train in, in cellars sometimes, um, or in squash courts for the Saturday sparring sessions. Um, so it means consistency of training and probably a better turnout. I think it's uh, wonderful news. Um, we've been trying to put something together like this for, for a very long time. Sport plays a critical role in, in every student's life. I know Jeff's experienced the wonderful opportunities he, he had at Berkeley and, and likewise myself in, in Australia. So. Yeah, like Hardy said, I had the fortunate opportunity to go to school in uh, California at Berkeley and uh, they have an extensive uh, support network for the athletes. Uh, to be honest, when I came here, I was amazed that uh, you know a uh, university such as Cambridge, with the ath athletic prestige that it has, doesn't have a support network. It's so good to have a sports centre located centrally. I mean, we have to travel at least four hours every Monday to go and train, and then on other days we don't train in Cambridge at all. And it's sort of reasonably embarrassing when we have to bring teams to our facilities, which is sort of a local community centre, when we go and visit such amazing sports facilities elsewhere. Um, it would be great to have more supporters as well. We find that we get very few during our matches because our centre is about half an hour away where we play. So it would be so good to have more supporters. What would be your message for potential donors? Guys, please help us out. This is going to be so important to us. Um, really, really exciting opportunity. M massive leaps and bounds, I think, for the university sport, which at the moment is, is always slightly on the edge. So really please help us out and good luck to those guys who are organising the campaign.